My name is Matthew Mokoro, and I'm going to be your host for today's event. We're going to be talking about power trading in 4D, and we're going to focus on trading options. Now, before we get too far down the line, I'm going to make sure that everyone understands how to leverage Go to webinar. Today, I'm the only one with a live microphone. And what we're going to be doing is I'm going to just take you through a simple, simple walkthrough of how to leverage GoToWebinar, okay? This way, we can have an enjoyable experience, you know how to ask questions, provide feedback, and that way we can maximize our time together, okay? So that's number one objective is to make sure that you and I can communicate effectively, okay? That way, the content as we walk through these strategies. Now, this would be a different presentation than most. This is an active learning event, meaning you're gonna be able to walk away with actionable, trading material so that way you can go into the markets with a new view of how to identify breakouts okay so that's gonna be the overall concept for today so on the screen in front of you you should see a simple slide that says sound check okay there's two connections you have a video connection so you can see my screen i'm also going to be sharing my webcam in a moment and then after that point we'll be able to communicate using the question section. Now you're automatically muted in the form of a microphone, okay? That does not mean I don't wanna hear from you. I, I, I encourage interaction and questions so that way we can really work through these strategies together live. So we use the question section on the screen in front of you, the bottom half. So what we're gonna do is a simple sound check. You should be able to hear me clearly and see a slide that says sound check right now. If those two boxes are checked, then please be so kind and ensure that you can hear. So everybody take the moment now, find your control panel, click on that little box that says enter a question for staff. And at that point, we'll be able to hit the ground running. And then I'm gonna see your comments. Okay, so I'd love to hear everyone interact so that way we know we're good. So Barbara, appreciate it, thank you. Uh, we've got Trader T, thank you. We got Malcolm, appreciate it. Thanks for that feedback. Always good to ensure that everything's working exactly as prescribed. That's the most important step. Appreciate it, McPherson. Appreciate the comments saying, I hear you, perfect, all good so far. All right, so I'm actually going to now flip over and I've got multiple computers set up for today's event. I'm gonna switch over to my main computer here. And then that way I've got all of my charts ready to rock, all of our analysis ready to walk through this concept today. All right, here we go. All right, so now I've got the webcam flying, so that way we can get a little bit more familiar. All right, so I always enjoy showing that. This is a live event, okay? This is not pre-recorded, and I always wanna encourage that and let you know this is not pre-recorded, it's not canned, it's 12.04. June 15th, you can see the time on the clock. Okay, so we are in action, ready to rock. All right, so it looks like everything's working exactly as it should. Um, yeah, well, this is this is 100% recorded, of course. Yep, you'll be able to watch it later. All right, fantastic. So everything's good to go, system check is rocking, and that is exactly where we wanna be. All right, so I highly encourage, at any point, if you have any questions, I wanna make sure that you know that you have this resource to ask it, okay? Don't wait for me. Don't wait for me to, to pause or to have a break. If you've got a question, ask the question. There's no reason to wait. You're not gonna disrupt me at all. I've hosted hundreds, if not thousands of hours of live broadcasts, so don't worry about that by any means. I'd rather you dump your question into that question section so that way you can be an active listener, okay? So if you're trying to remember something, waiting to time your response to me, you're just wasting time, okay? So just as soon as it happens, as soon as that question pops up, 
dump it in the question section. I'll get to it. I promise you. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure my promise is that we'll answer every single question. All right. There's no doubt in my mind I'll be able to facilitate that. So that's why I'll be able to answer that and, and have all that confidence. So we're going to talk about how to generate profit trading options. And not just any options. I'm talking about a very specific niche group of optionable stocks. You don't have to be a master options trader to follow along with what we're going to talk about today. Not by any means. I'm going to give you a simple, simple checklist to understand how to select the right option chain. Don't worry about that. If you're not familiar or comfortable with trading options, you don't have to trade the option. You can take the same strategy I'm going to teach you today and trade the stock itself, right? Buy low, sell high. Just trading stocks outright, that's fine too. Okay, so rest at ease there. You do not have to be a master trader. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> Simple, thank goodness. Yeah, I love it, Barbara. Yeah, no worries at all. So it's important, I've got to highlight this. Look, trading in the financial space carries risk. You must use risk capital. If you don't have the money to invest, don't invest. Spend the time learning, and when that opportune time comes, when you've got excess capital to invest, then do that, okay? Just please always know that trading carries risk, and you always want to make sure you only invest risk capital, meaning if you lost your trade, you can still pay your bills, okay? You keep the lights on, you keep food on the table, things of that nature, all right? So you've got to follow that philosophy. Now, if you've never heard me speak before, I would say in an event like this, it's maybe 50-50. You know, half of you know who I am, half of you don't. So if you haven't had the opportunity to meet me, it's a pleasure meeting you. But I've been in this industry for over 13 years, specifically in the financial education trading technology space. Started out just like you did 13 years ago, never traded anything. In my role in my company at the time, I was a chief revenue officer at the end of my term. I was trained to be a chartist, a master chartist, okay? so. Most of you are on the opposite side of that. You pay to learn how to trade. I was on the opposite side. I got paid to become a master chartist, okay, because of the role I was in. I'm a momentum trend trader, okay? So I leverage momentum, also known as volume, and direction, trends. Pair those together. That's the 4D strategy I'm gonna give to you today. This is not a presentation where I try to wow you with my proficiency, show you how money being made without giving you the actual recipe. That's not how I like to do these presentations. I'm gonna give you the strategy and we're gonna walk through it today. It's gonna take us about an hour, maybe hour and 10 minutes, okay? So I encourage you to take copious notes. You could take screenshots as I'm walking through these processes today with you. There's a camera button in the GoToWebinar viewing window. You can click that camera button and it will save a screenshot of what I'm showing onto your desktop. So you can go back if you want and refer to it. Okay, this is an open access, 100% transparent educational event today. I, I am selling a service. The service is us sending you trades. Okay, so if you want us to do it for you, if not, you can actually learn this strategy today. And the beauty of the strategy is that it works no matter what market you want to trade. Stocks, ETFs, futures, Forex, cryptocurrencies. This strategy is applicable. Worry about It's applicable. Okay, so you don't have to worry about switching gears, switching strategies based on the market you're trading. Okay, so that's that's the fun part about this type of trading. You're gonna see simple, and that's the key. Simple equals repeatable, right? That means that regardless of the market you're trading, doesn't matter the stock price, doesn't matter if you're trading a contract in the futures market, if you're trading currency pairs in the Forex, or if you're trading cryptocurrencies, it makes no difference. Simple and repeatable is the key. And with my experience, I can chart with the best of them. Okay, so my goal is to simplify this approach. So I'm gonna give out some, Indicator is very simple today. You don't have to pay for any service. You can use all the techniques today on any, lots of them, your charting platform that you pay for, any charting platform that's free. You're gonna see me use some today. 
So it becomes an open environment to ask all of those top questions out there. All right, so I really love it. Um, screenshot button looks like a, should be above the, let's see, I've got a support team here helping. So Anna's helping, appreciate that. Just look at the viewing window and you'll see that camera button, okay? All right, so with that, and this is also recorded, okay? So we'll make sure you get a copy of the recording. So what we're gonna be leveraging today for this specific lesson, a very specific niche group of stocks, and we're gonna use price and optionable ability, right? So we're gonna look at stocks that are optionable, but that are on the lower spectrum of the investment cost. So a lot of people trade options because you, have understood that to make money trading stocks by themselves, it takes a lot of money. So a lot of people look to trading options to try to leverage the margin and the power of leverage in the options market to let your money work harder for you, okay? So let your work, money work harder and hopefully smarter. But what we're focusing on is the lower spectrum of option trading. So to give you an idea, the average share price is about a dollar seventy. So on an option, that means one hundred and seventy dollars for one single contract. On average, some are two fifty, some are one itself. The reason I highlight this is because if you do have a smaller account size, maybe you have a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand dollars, and you want to invest, but you know it's hard to make a lot of money in the stock market, so you're looking to trade options. Well, this type of trading can fit your individual account size, right? So the lower spectrum account balances, these strategies and this specific style of trading today can fit your account size, all right? Now, some of you who have a larger account size, instead of trading two contracts, three contracts, you're gonna be using the contract multiplier philosophy and you could trade 10, 20, 30, 40 contracts to take advantage of these types of signals, okay? So I just wanna give you an overall sense of what you're gonna learn today. Now, to give you an idea of performance, since August of last year, I've been actively running the signal service that we provide. And since that time, we have accumulated over 2,900% in total returns. So the way to use this type of information, because Mark tend to use data in a certain way. The easy way to look at this type of return is a multiplier. So I don't wanna to get too crazy in the math, but when you see 2,900%, the easy way to look at that number is to take off two decimals and that's 29. So it's a 29X growth on your initial average investment. So if you're trading $2,000 per trade, multiply by that number by 29, and that is what your account balance would look like following our program. So let's use easy math. So if you had $1,000 following our signal since August 5th on this strategy I'm gonna teach you and give you, that's $29,000 since August, just $1,000. $2,000, do the math, double it, that's $58,000. Maybe you're a $5,000 per account trader, right? You're talking almost 150,000. Okay, that's just to give you a sense for what those numbers mean. Now, the flow of how this works is gonna be leveraging a very, very simple concept, but yet very powerful concept. And I like to call this the market breakout formula. Okay, so this is where the overall concept of the 4D comes into play. Now, I've got multiple monitors, so if you see my eyes jump, I'm just looking at my other monitors. This is the process that we repeat over and over and over again. We identify where the activity is. This is momentum. Volume surge is momentum. Direction, we've got to know we're in the right pattern to give us the breakout, okay? So we are going to apply a very simple technique to identify direction. Once we understand what we're going to trade, three questions we need to answer. What are we going to trade? When do we trade it? and how do we manage that trade? Those are the three questions every trader must answer successfully. Every time you get in trade, that is the step. All right, I got some questions here about the audio. Okay, let me take a look here.
All right. So how's the audio now? Ours. Okay, good. I right, appreciate it. Fantastic. Okay, good. All right, good. Perfect. Okay. So if you could take the screenshot, take the screenshot. If you want to take a note, take a note. Volume surge. That's momentum. Strong direction. Those two steps is how we identify what we're going to trade. Okay. Once we know what, and I'm talking about what meaning the stock. We can trade the stock outright. We can trade the option. doesn't matter. That's going to help us identify what is on our radar. We're going to effectively build a list of stocks that qualify. They have the volume surge and then the right direction, the right pattern to get us the breakout. Okay. The when is the timing aspect. So I'm going to give you the timing rules of how to get into the trade. That's timing. How is managing the trade? That's the profit and that's the risk. Okay, so all three of those are going to be answered. What, when, and how. Those three, okay? So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go into the markets. It's live. I love this time at 12 o'clock. It is the slower trading volume time of the day, but it's, it's live. So we can really see how volume plays in. So what I'm going to do with you is share a simple, simple. Now I'm going to, okay, so I'm going to share with you some tools that you can leverage, that, like I said, these are all free, okay? These are all available, doesn't matter you know, what system you have, what strategies, what tools you have or don't have, how much you spent in education in the past, you're gonna, you're gonna look back at this and go, man, why didn't I find Matthew earlier? Okay, so I'm gonna give you all these resources. So we're gonna start first breaking down the power of volume, okay? Volume is momentum. Momentum is how institutional traders describe it. Retail traders think in terms of volume. To me, I bridge the gap. Volume and momentum are the same. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up, I'm just gonna go to Yahoo Finance. I'm just gonna highlight some key factors here. Remember, I'm gonna walk through volume. Okay, volume is the first tell here. Now, this is just Yahoo Finance. It's the top gainers at Yahoo Finance. Now, this is live, so this is taken in today's market activity. So for the first half of the day today, this is what's happened so far. And this is just a simple list of the top gainers in the form of percentage gain today. So this strategy, like I said, is, is not dependent upon stock price. You're gonna see this concept I'm gonna share with you now applicable if it's a dollar stock, if it's a 10 cent stock, or if it's a multi hundred dollar stock, doesn't matter. So all we're looking at now is a list of those top gainers. So the top gainer today so far is Rolls-Royce, which was also the top gainer yesterday. But today it's Rolls-Royce again at almost 18%. Okay, now it's a three cent stock. But I'm just gonna start walking you through what we're looking at. The most important two columns here we're looking at are these two. You have volume and then you have the average volume. So the volume represents the number of shares traded today so far okay so rolls royce today has been trading at 85 million shares without a baseline to measure that against it's just a number okay volume by itself is just a number if we don't have anything to compare it to so when i describe volume surge how do we define a surge a surge is defined when we have volume activity above the average so for rolls royce in this example if rolls royce averages 9.3 million shares a day is an average this is a 90 day average okay i'm gonna we're gonna use a different average length but for this example it's gonna make sense the average day is 9.3 million a surge is defined at any point any day where that individual stock is above that average so 85 million today so far is well above the average, correct? I mean, we're talking almost a 10 time increase of activity. That's a surge. And the stock price has jumped 17%. Okay, let's go to the next one. This is also a very small price stock at $8. The average day for Top Glove is 35,000 shares. Okay, that's a small number. I never trade anything this low, but Let's walk through the data together anyways. Today, it's at 55,000. 
Is that above average? It is. That's a surge. Stock price up 14%. Let's go to some larger price stocks. You know, AMC, if you didn't know, is one of the Reddit Wall Street stocks. It's one of their Cinderella stocks. It still applies. The average day for AMC is 146 million. Okay, today it's at 178 million. It's already past its daily average, and that stock price is up 7%. You can go up and down this list. And so this is a cumulative count of activity. And you go up and down this list. You can do this yourselves and you can see how these stocks react as they're above this time frame. okay? That is momentum. That is the defined momentum. Now today, I can already tell it's not a large volume day in the market because typically we would see 60, 70 results and you would see a larger number of stocks show up, all right? So every day is different. So when we classify and identify opportunities, we're really filtering down, we're searching and breaking down the market because there's thousands of stocks to choose from. If you trade options, there's dozens of different option chains for the underlying stock to option, right? So in essence, there's so many choices to be made. And the question is, is what do I trade? How do I isolate? How do I break down the market to find out that answer? This is what I'm going to give you as a search criteria, a breakdown of how the, to identify the breakout. And so the first step we're going to do is we're going to leverage a very simple, simple technique of scanning the market, searching through the market to find that next level breakout. Okay. So I'm going to now go into another free resource. It is called TradingView. TradingView is a free research site. It's a trading charting site. Now, I've got a paid account because I post videos and I post different analysis. So I'm a pro user and I do that intentionally for distribution of content. But what I'm going to share with you does not require you to have a paid account. You can have a free account at TradingView and do what I'm going to do with you now. Once again, I'm here to provide value. And hopefully this makes sense and it resonates and you all become more actively consistent and correct and profitable in your trading. Okay, so I'm gonna, my old goal is to give you out as much of the free stuff I can because to me, it's out there. I'm just going to put it together in a certain way to help you take advantage of the market. Okay, that's my promise to you. So what we're going to do is I'm going to break down a very simple approach to find what to trade. So what we have to be able to do, going back to the initial formula, is we need to understand of all of the stocks trading, which ones are having a surge of trading activity. All right. So to help highlight this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to a, a commonly traded stock symbol and I'm going to walk you through how volume interacts and engage. So let's do this. Type in the question section now. Let's just I'll take a random stock symbol. Type into the question section now. Give me a random stock symbol. I don't care what it is. And I'll pull it up and I'm going to walk you through the volume impact. All right. So just give me any symbol. Go ahead and type it in the question section. And I've got LOW coming in. I've got Apple. I've got the SPY. I've got Ford. I love Ford. I've got a Ford truck out in the out of my driveway. <laughs> I've got Beam. I've got the Qs. I've got Riot. Tell. Okay, so we got lots to choose from. We got Netflix. We got Coca-Cola. DraftKings. All right, I love this group. We got lots of active traders. Okay, good. So let's go and I'll start with the big majority. I like ETFs too. I'll break down the SPY and the Qs, but let's go to a stock symbol. All right, let's go to, we'll start with the first stock symbol was Apple. Okay, so let's go to Apple and I'm gonna pull up Apple for you, all right. So now we're gonna really go through some setups here, okay? So I'm gonna walk you through how to set up your charts in 4D, okay? So I'm gonna get rid of some of this analysis here some of these indicators. And I'm going to be sticking to daily time frames for the majority of this. Okay, so, you know, here's Apple. It's in front of us. I'm going to shut down this watch list. Here's Apple, and you can see this is 
the stock price action for Apple on a daily time. My trading is done on this time frame daily. Okay, I'm a swing trader, so I expect to be in a position for days and weeks, not hours and minutes. Okay, so I'm days and weeks, sometimes a month, majority of the time of my trades is less than three weeks. Okay, so the beauty of the breakout that I'm teaching you today is a short hold time on your trades. We're not talking about swing trades for months. We're talking about swing trades for weeks. Like I said, my average hold time is, is less than three weeks in an option trade. So when I use a daily chart, I'm just in increments of price action. Okay, so here's the current price now. So you can see the date, June 15th. This is live. There's nothing on the screen other than the price. So the first step is how do I take volume and actually apply it and leverage it to find breakouts and momentum, okay? So the first indicator we're gonna add is volume. All right, so I'm gonna cue off the webcam for a moment, just see if we can get better clarity on the audio. I'm just gonna pause the uh, screen for a moment just to see if I can get a more clear connection. All right, so hopefully that helps. All right, so volume is where we're gonna be. Okay, so this is a simple volume. There's nothing fancy about this indicator. This works on TradingView. Uh, this works on Thinkorswim, whatever platform you have. You'll sh you should be able to find a volume indicator, okay? Now, once I turn on the volume, you're gonna see these columns. I like to look at the volume in the form of columns, okay? You can set this however you'd like but I always like to use columns and you'll see why in a moment. Okay, so I've got volume. Now, I'll remember how the volume surge below as I move my cursor. You see where it says volume here where my mouse is? And it has 100 million, 161 million. As I move my cursor, it's telling me the volume traded on those given timeframes, on that given bar. Okay, so today, so far for Apple, there's been 31.8 million shares traded. Remember, we have to have a baseline. We have to have a baseline measurement of the volume, right? Volume by itself is just a number, right? We've got to have a comparison. So what we're going to leverage bar moving average length. That's the default. 20 is the length, meaning I want to look at an average trading period of 20 bars. So that's going to be our number, 20. So I got to turn it on. This is going to give us the comparison. And I'll use a line color uh, uh, let's do blue. I'll make it a little thicker so you can see it. Okay. So this is going to be, this blue line down here is the moving average of the number of shares traded on a 20-day basis. That's the average. So now when I go to today, you got two data points now in the volume data box on the top left, right? See, it says volume 20. So that's saying it's a 20 moving average volume. You see the 31.86 million. That's today so far. That's the number of shares traded right now. The blue number is the moving average. And it's a moving average, meaning it's, it's a rolling average. So every bar closes, we're going to get an updated average, okay? So if you look at the comparison, we're less than half of the total volume, right? And then you don't have to do that math. You see where the column height is. See the column height here compared to this blue line? Remember the blue line's the average. We are a below average day so far, okay? Now, the way volume works is there's really two time periods of the day where you get the largest majority of the volume. The opening session of the day, the first hour, of the day, you get the largest proportionate volume traded is in the opening first hour of the day. The second largest volume time is the closing session, the last hour or so of the day, okay? Now, sure, there's spikes sometimes, but I'm talking about from an average perspective, the majority of volume is in the opening period, and then the second highest volume is the close. So just think about it as a, a reverse bell curve. Open session volume, you have the lunchtime, and then you have the close. 
So this is your opening volume period. This is the closing period. So largest portion of money traded is here. Second highest is at the end of the day, okay? So the reason I highlight that is because we're already halfway through the day and we're already well below the average. Odds are this is a low volume day for Apple, okay? We are already seeing a larger proportionate move now look at the previous day. So here's June 14th, which was yesterday. We had a 96 million share day, almost 97 million, and the average was 72 million. So you can see this is considered a surge of trading activity, right? The column height, I don't care what color the bars are, okay? Down here, I don't care the colors, red or green, doesn't matter. I'm looking at where is the column in relation to the blue line? right so the majority of the time we're under volume okay so majority of stocks are not trading above an average right i mean that's just the nature of an average but these spikes if you look back you can see these spikes and then look up at the price action so if i look here vertically you see how this bar this open and close bar is way bigger than the previous day look at today so far you see how big this bar is compared to the to today right look at these other big columns you see how big these bars are high to low like this high to low is bigger than one two three almost four days in a row you added them up they're still not the size of this one single day okay volume is the big big mover you can't get big price move without big action so yesterday the high low spread was three percent three percent doesn't sound like a lot in the stock market but it is on a hundred dollar stock it is on an apple stock right yeah and then we got another question what about march 18th high volume with a small doji right so he's talking about this march 18th period here when we're dealing in trading and statistics right there's no 100 percent. there's no zero percent the constant fluctuation of percentages, odds, probabilities are alive in a real tangible statistical phenomenon that happens. There's no 100%. There's no always happens. When there is a high volume on a very tight bar high low, that is in itself a huge indicator that there is a large price point, a relevant price that the bulls nor the bears can get by, okay? That is an equilibrium that occurs, but it doesn't happen the majority of the time, okay? This is another lesson, advanced lesson of retraction expansion, okay? So we look at volume as expansion, right? So expansion means, wow, there's a huge surge. Well, there's also relevant analysis when you see a decrease in volume, okay? So there's two sides of the coin. I'm gonna stick to the most conservative approach today, but if you like this type of lesson, we've got a whole catalog of lessons around the entire spectrum of volume, entire spectrum of trend, okay? So don't worry about that. But yes, that's a great, great question into that uh, phenomenon, all right? So once we identify, and you can just, just look back and you can see just with your eyes, you see these spikes and how the majority of time we're under, right? I mean, you see any of these big spikes, you're seeing a larger proportionate number of activity. Now I've taken and I've done analysis on so many different symbols. What you will find is that on a volume day, volume or greater, on a surge trading day, you will see 50 to 100% more price movement. So half to double the normal trading range when there's volume behind it. You don't have to believe me, that is a time-tested, inarguable fact about how the markets operate. Spike of activity co coalescences into spike in price action, okay? So if we could identify those breakouts and start to visually identify where those breakouts are happening, we can align ourselves into catching breakouts. Volume by itself, if you just followed and tracked your trades, this is the simplest way to do it. If you think about, go back in time to those trades, your big home run trades where you made tons of money, 
the ones you brag to your friends and family about, or maybe not brag, but the ones, you know, when a story pops up and people talk about their trading, you always have that go-to trade you talk about. Odds are you go back in time and go look at that trade. Maybe you had a 100% plus stock, stock trade. Maybe you doubled your stock trade. Maybe you doubled your option trade, right? Maybe you had a 300% winner. I, I My biggest win was like 450% in about four days. Okay, that's one of my home runs. If you go back and look at those home run trades of yours, go back to the chart and 90% of the time of all your home runs, it was backed by massive trading volume that you happen to catch yourself in, okay? What I wanna do is not luckily find it or happen to just fall into it. I'm gonna show you how to identify those, okay? That's what this volume is. So this volume is your first dimension into identifying what to trade, okay? So let's go to some other ones. I've got a lot of stocks to look at. Let's go to DraftKings. I just wanna show you this. You'll see it here too. So DraftKings, oh, I love this one. This one showed up for a reason because of this massive gap. Look at this massive gap today. The open was down here, okay? So we, where did we close? Well, we closed the previous day right here at $50. We closed at 50.62. Today we opened at 47 dollars. That's a massive gap. So it was a 10 percent, almost 11 percent gap down. Well, what did I just teach you? Look at the volume. 70 million shares today so far. The average day for DraftKings is 16.8 million. That gap differential. I don't care if it's bullish or bearish. Look at that. Was it buying pressure or selling pressure? It was the sell side, right? Short side pressure at maximum volume dropped that price as soon as the market opened. That's a volume play. Let me give you an idea of the open. I'm gonna go down to a smaller time frame. So I'm on a five minute chart. Okay, remember I talked about the open. In the first five minutes of the day today, there was a hunt traded on DraftKings. In the first five minutes, only 20,000 shares. Time multiple of volume. You think the price is gonna move? Of course the price is gonna move. And it's not gonna move a little bit. It's gonna move a lot. That's 11% gap. What's it driven by? The price doesn't go first, folks. Volume is first, then price goes. You can't argue that fact. It's impossible to argue that fact. Don't don't even try it, okay? It's a, it's, it's a, nobody can disagree with that fact, all right? That's an always thing, right? And you can see that massive, massive move. Let's go to another one. And I'll just keep to these small ones. Let's go to, oh, Facebook. Okay, we can go Facebook. I'm gonna come back to a daily. And with Facebook, you can see we've been trending down in volume, okay? So it's not only volume spike, you can see, see how we decrease really starting on the 8th of June. You see how we've just gotten lower and lower on volume? And look at the bars. Are the bars going up or down? Or are they going to the right? They're, they're going to the right more than they're going up or down. Well, we've had a real decrease in trading volume on Facebook. We haven't had real volume play on Facebook until the end of April, beginning of May. You see these volume spikes? Look at these. That's a sideways movement. Okay, let's go to another one. I'm just going to go through another one real quick. Let's go through uh, Netflix. Okay, let's go to Netflix. We've had some small spikes, you know, three small spikes since really end of April, April 23rd. Okay, so not a lot of trading activity above the norm for Netflix, really in the, geez, almost two months. Okay, so that's why if you're stuck trading one symbol, you know, you're really a feast or famine trader. I mean, look at Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola was a request from um, one of our traders, member, member. That's all the name I have. Okay, you see... We, we had a big spike here, big volume move. See the high low here? But really, it's been just really basically at it. Not a big surge. We had a surge back in March 19th. We had a surge end of May. But other than that, it's been a decrease in trading volume. Let's go to some big indexes like the SPY, okay? Look how the SPY has decreased. This is the S&P 500 ETF. You could, it's applicable here too. See this decrease? I mean, we're just not, we're just, this average keeps getting lower and lower and our columns just get, keep running away from it. 
you see the big spikes in trading activity. You see the big price action. And you see how these bars have gotten really tight? Well, that's why, because there's not a lot of activity. Okay, it's not, there's nothing magic about it. It's just the activity's not there. Look at the cues. Now the cues have gone bullish, but you're not seeing the spike in activity. It's just meandering up, slow meander. Okay, we're looking for breakouts. Breakouts is what we're interested, at least that's what I'm interested in. Okay, short term moves that move the needle. Okay, so as we take a look at this, let's go to another one, the GoPro. Let's talk about now, and I'm gonna break down putting this all together, okay? So let's, I'm gonna to go to GoPro because this is, we just hit a profit target here on an option for about, I think it was 70% or so on an option signal. Remember, we also have a full service uh, options trading program where we deliver trading signals. So we tell you what symbol to trade, we tell you what option to select, we give you the strategy, are you buying a call, are you buying a put, we give you the expiration month. So for example, we're looking at GoPro here, so on May 26th, this trade went live for GoPro. We bought the long call, July 16th expiration, $10 strike price. This trade, we profited 70% on the option. Okay, so the detail is crazy. We give you full transparency, you know, where to put your stop loss, where to put your profit target, trading the option. So to show you this, I'm gonna highlight how this all is working together. Okay, so remember there's four stages, four, four dimensions of trading. So we're gonna go back in time and I'm gonna leverage TradingView's awesome ability to go back in time. So I'm able to start at a certain point and walk through this process with you. Okay, so let's go to GoPro. I showed you the signal and the signal means we send text messages, we send emails uh, with this specific trading signal. So that way you don't have to guess, you just go put, set the trade up and you're done. Okay, that's the level of precision. So this signal, you see this Market Pro Live, this is on May 25th. You can see it right here. May 25th. Tuesday, May 25th, 7.03 p.m. Okay, so and you can see this, here are your options trades. Symbol, GoPro, here's the strategy, here's the expiration to select, here's your strike price. Now these three pieces here, stock trigger, stock stop loss, stock profit target. That's how you manage the trade, that's the how. This is the what, this is the when, and this is how to manage the option trade. Okay, that's just the actual signal that set up this trade here. So I just wanna show you, that's the transparency. But this is not enough, okay? we need to understand not only the volume so take a look on may 25th you see the volume it was 5.9 million shares that day the average was 3.8 you see the column above that average right that's the surge remember so we're on the surge stage now we need to identify what we're going to do is leverage three indicators on top of each other this is not the most precise. The most precise is manually hand drawing your trend lines. That's, that's gonna be the most precise trend analysis and identification. The problem with that is that drawing trend lines is an art. It's a form of art because it's drawing. The problem with art is that it's subjective. So to be a proficient artist, most of the times to be an artist, you have to train to become a master artist, right? You go to school, you do training, you invest time, energy, resources, effort to become a master artist, to be an artist of the charts, to be a chartist, you've got to do the same. So most people don't have that luxury of being paid like I did, right, to become a master chartist, right? So the subjectiveness is difficult to manage, being subjective. So what we're going to use is an objective stack of indicators together. Okay, this way we've got a consistent method to go in and identify these opportunities. Okay, I got some questions coming in. Uh, how about the VIX? VIX works the same process, doesn't matter what symbol. Um, I'll pull it up here in a second too. I've got what option liquidity do you look for? 
On the option side, I use open interest. So minimum, I want to see 100 or more. Typically, I like to be in 1,000 or more open interest. And I'll show you how to do that. Uh, do you trade spreads? No, I just trade single legs. I don't get into anything on the opposite spectrum of that. So simple calls, simple puts for me is where I uh, tend to focus. I'm familiar with them. I teach. I can teach it. I can trade them, but I just don't do that level of trading. All right, so three indicators, and they're simple, okay? Simple moving averages. And like I said, I've already walked you through why it's just easier for the for the layperson. Doesn't doesn't take an expert to be able to run this. So I'm going to put on three moving averages. One, two, three. I've got to change the length. I need to have a stack effect. So I'm going to use a simple rule of math. And I like to use, and I have two real ways to use moving averages. I'm going to show you the first one, which is more for the trader. The person that's trading three, four times a month, that to me is a trader, versus the investor who's trading a couple times a month and you're holding and you're trying to build a portfolio. You just want to sit in your trade and hold it. Okay. So what I've done is I've added and I've changed the length. I've got a 10, a 20, and a 40. 20 is half of 40, 10 is half of 20. That's the 50% I'm talking about. Okay. So I've got an even mix of a math split cut in half so 10 is half than 20 20 is half of 40 that is my 50 percent 10 is two halves of a 40 right so you so this is just a math based phenomenon that i like to leverage i'll explain more in, in later lessons uh, but that is a very simple approach okay so i've got this set up i just want to make them a little thicker so you can see them on the screen i'm going to change the colors a little bit so we can get a nice comparison of how this looks and feels. And then I'm gonna walk you through each one and what they tell us, okay? So I wanna keep this very simple. And like I said, you can get way more precise using manually draw trend lines, but that's a whole nother world of analysis, okay? So very simple to look at. I'm gonna turn off the other, the 20 and the 40 for a second, just show you the 10 to begin, okay? So remember, this is a simple moving average it's not exponential this is just simple okay i've got a question why not exponential you'll see here in a second so all i'm looking for is the relevant price so here's the current this is the bar on may 25th remember i said i start with daily most of my analysis is done when the market's closed so the, to give an idea for this symbol we sent out on may 25th look at the time we sent this out at seven o'clock at night. The majority of my time trading is done at night when the market's closed. So we identified this on May 25th to get set up for the next day. Okay, so I'll explain that in a moment, but I just want to highlight the fact that this is done at night. So it doesn't matter what your schedule is. If you can't trade during the day, that's fine. I don't trade during the day. I look at what happened in that day to set up for tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'll look at what took place tomorrow to set up for the next trading day. Okay, Sundays, I look for Mondays. Mondays, I look for Tuesdays. So on May 25th, you see where we closed? We closed at $11.01 right here, where my mouse is. You see how we were above this 10-day moving average? Okay, so this is an average of the close price over a 10-length period. Now, if I'm on a one-hour chart, then this is based on 10 one hour bars. Okay, so this is fluid no matter what time frame I'm on. If because I was on a daily chart, that represents 10 days. So that's why I said 10 days. Okay, so if I'm on a one hour, that's 10 one hour bars. So I'm looking at where am I at in relation to that blue trend line? Well, I'm above it, that's bullish, but that's on a very tight trend. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is introduce the 20. Okay, so now I just turned on the 20. Now I've got the bar above the 20, right? You see the close, see the high above the 20. So that is now two confirmations that were bullish. Okay, so I'm now adding in confirmations. Now I'm gonna go to the third one, which is the 40. So now I've got the market has penetrated above the 40, the 20, and the 10, okay? That is an ideal setup. What you're gonna see, and I'll show you as I go back, 
when I'm looking at getting into a trade, I want to be at the point of the breakout. Okay, the point of the breakout is where you maximize the breakout. Timing, remember I talked about there's four steps to the breakout, volume surge, strong direction, time of the entry, then managing the trade, profit and risk. So volume surge is down here, okay? Trend direction, I'm gonna, I'm incorporating simple indicators. As we progress in my classes, we go into more advanced ways to use trend, okay? But I just wanna keep this simple and allow you to visually see because then as we flash through chart after chart after chart after chart, it becomes a very simple and fast approach to find the right pattern. All we're looking at is where's the market in relation to those three trends, okay? The more we have in our favor, the more probabilities we have to be right, okay? All we're trying to do is get these small percentages in our favor. It's all we're trying to do. So if we rolled out this volume surge was there on May 25th, right? We saw the columns above the volume. Strong direction was there. We saw the market penetrate and break those three trend lines, okay? Now, how do we time the entry? Timing the entry is crucial. It's a very simple technique to time the entry. How do we confirm the market's at a breakout? How do we confirm that this price going back to March 10th isn't a breakout? What's the final step to break out? The price must break out, right? The price must go. That's the breakout confirmation. So if you remember, as I come back into... the 25th of May. Let's go back to this trade. I'm going to show you this. Remember the trade details was symbol GoPro. We're going to buy the long call, trade the option. There's the expiration. There's the strike price. Okay. This stock trigger at 1123. That is where we want to be. This is the confirmation that the price is breaking out. Okay. And remember, this was sent out the day before at seven o'clock, right? Where that number came from was in using a one tick above strategy. So let's go back to the current price of that breakout. It's coming up May 25th. Okay, so here it is on the chart, May 25th. And this is the entry. You see the high, remember we're talking about where that market break. The high on May 25th was 11.22. The stock price trigger that we needed to have happen to confirm the breakout the next trading day is a simple one tick above that high. 11.22 was the high. Our entry was 11.23. One tick above that bar high. That's all we're looking for. That is the price confirming the price moving up. It's not just above anything. We're using what took place on May 25th to set us up for the potential breakout the next trading period, which was the next day. Okay, this is a daily setup. So all of these setups are good for that next day. So if you look back here on this initial trade back on March 10th, you see we had a high of $9.39. Well, the trade here, once we saw the, the breakout with a volume, right? So you could see the volume was 11.8 million versus 5.6. That is the place to be. We don't want to be chasing breakouts up here. You see how this already broke out. You see how if we were looking at May, uh, March 15th, you see how high we are after the breakout? That's too far, right? That trade has taken off. It's already left the station. So the goal of this is to be at the point of the breakout you can go back further this is the point of breakout you want to be in you don't want to chase these markets up and down this line you want to find the the, the symbol the pattern at that initial break there's another one that's the break we want to be at that's the break make sense so there's the break we don't want to be chasing down trades okay that is very subjective that's emotionally driven so now we simply set the entry up one tick above the bar high. I'll show you how that looks. We'll get into the live market. We'll do a live trade today. We'll do that. Okay. Don't worry about that piece. These three lines, I wanted to go back and just show you what this 
profit target was, what the stop loss was. So you can see it visually, these three columns that we gave you, remember where they came from? They came from this stock signal that we sent out. So here's the signal of the trade. So I just visually put that on the chart so you can see what the setup was a few weeks ago. Okay, so that's what that is. So the next period, all we need to have happen, so here's May 26th, okay? As, as long as GoPro, the next day, hits that entry, we're in. We're in. That's all it takes. That's the trigger point. Once that happens, we are now live, okay? Now, what you see with us that you don't see many other places is that we give you in advance of the trade, we give you the pre precise profit target, stop loss to mitigate your risk in every single trade. So, you, so once you go live, all of your key exits are in play. There's nothing to guess. That's how this strategy works. And that's why it allows for levels of freedom not typically found in strategies because it answers the four major questions of trading. What do I trade? When do I trade it? How do I manage the profit? When do I get out that profit? And then how do I mitigate risk? Those are the four steps that we have to answer when it comes to trading, okay? Now, obviously this trade hit the, hit the money. You can see how it played out. And this is where we hit profit target on Monday, which was yesterday. Okay, see this bar came up and hit it. Now the beauty of the exit, okay, you see this profit target hit? We came up and hit 1286. This was a stock price move of 14.5%. That's a great stock trade, right? 14.5% in 12. 12 bars, right? So that's 12 trading days. That's that's a phenomenal stock trade. Stock, we traded the option. Okay, so if you want to trade stocks, it's still applicable, same strategy. You just don't choose the option, okay? The power of the option is the profit margin, okay? So 70% was the option trade. So instead of buying the shares at $11.23 a share on the stock, our contract price at entry was $1.74, right? So once one standard contract was $174, right? We closed out at $2.96. So inside of this tracking of our service, we also provide to you the final ticket. So you can actually see, here's GoPro trade when it closed out. So this is right out of my Thinkorswim account. So you can see here the date, so this is when we hit the profit target, closed out at 9.33 and 46 seconds, right? So three minutes into the open yesterday, we automatically closed out at a share price of $2.96. $2.96, right? We bought it at $1.74. So we made $1.22 a share on the option side, okay? Down here is the power of how we set these trades up. So this was an OCO order. One cancels the other. So remember, we give you the entry to get into the option. We give you the profit target. We give you the stop loss. OCO means we set it up all at the same time. So this is very unique to how we do this. We're not the only people, but I've yet to see a group do it this way, okay? Every trade has three orders. You've got your entry, you've got your profit target, you've got your stop loss. So we utilize the underlying stock to generate and drive the option trade. So that way, at the point of entering the trade, all of our trades are protected with exits in place. So you can see here that this trade triggered automatically. I didn't manually take this trade out. It was already sitting there. So when I logged in yesterday at about 12, I saw that this already filled at 9.33. You see it, this executed this trade, it triggered this trade when GoPro marked at 86 cents. So this drove the exit automatically. 
And that is due to how we set up the trade. So imagine now, once you learn this strategy, you're able to set up trades like this. Well, that's FE, I don't want FE, I want GoPro. Here's GoPro, okay? So this is what the ticket looked like before it was triggered on the 26th. So take a look at this setup. There's one, two, three orders. Now, don't worry if you've never done this trade. I've got tons of lessons of how to do this, okay? You see the date here? This trade was set up on May 25th at 6.50 p.m. 18.50 hours, I'm in Florida, okay? So this is 6.50 in the evening on May 25th, 2021. So I had the entry set up here, right? So we're gonna buy 10 contracts, GoPro, here's the expiration, strike is $10. On the condition, so now conditionally, if GoPro marked at or above $11.23. If this went live and triggered, which it did, but at the point we didn't know that, okay? You see down here it says, these two sell orders, right? This is the bracket. So we have our stop loss, which is here. See, if we go live, if we open, and the market for GoPro goes below $10.09, it's gonna close out the trade. That's the stop loss. Remember, we want the trade to go up. That was a bullish breakout. And then in our case, it hit 12.86, which was the profit target. Okay, so then this was the trade that closed me out yesterday. All the traders that followed me had GoPro. They closed that automatically. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Barbara said, fabulous. Don't have to watch this. Exactly. And, and that alleviates the emotional decision making. It is one thing to get into the trade. Okay, that's the easy part. Anybody, you can buy anything anytime you want. You can do anything anytime you want, right? We're all adults. Managing the trade, that's a whole nother ballgame. But by being objective up front and identifying these opportunities before they break out and then having your exits already in place removes that emotional decision making. Now, I don't want to remove all the emotions. What are some of the emotions we want to enjoy, right? We want to enjoy ourselves. We want to have fun, right? We want to have, feel challenged, right? We want to feel some sweat, some small levels of anxiety because that's what makes trading um, engaging and at times I think addicting, right? Is that level of fear and overcoming fear and then being successful right that's the nature of trading okay so if we can identify that and try to remove some of that knee-jerk reaction based decision making you know oh i'm in the green let me get out now i'm scared to manage profits or oh my gosh i'm down a little bit let me let me get out now i think i'm wrong you know we remove a lot of that indecisiveness to our trading that's not driven nothing more by emotions. Okay, so that's why setting targets, setting exits up. And I've got some great questions about exits. So we'll talk about that too. All right, but I just wanted to walk through and show you how this works, okay? So as we run through this, and I'm just gonna build a list of all that everybody typed in, and we'll go break them down together. So I'm just gonna create a simple fast list here, and I'm gonna go back and put in all these different symbols you all typed in, and I'll call this today's date, okay? Okay, we'll have some fun and just fly through this for a second. And we'll break down and you're gonna quickly see how simple layering all this is together. Uh, let's see, what else we got? We got the Qs, we got <laughs> Ethereum. All right, we could do some, uh, we'll do uh, Kraken's Ethereum, okay. Uh, I've got Facebook, I've got AHT, ATOS. Netflix, watch how fast this is. Uh, I'm just gonna pull, this is just everybody's feedback. I'm just typing them in here and we'll be able to quickly fly through analysis, okay? Like I said, there's ways to get a lot more specific on trend, but I'm gonna show you how simple it is to use this. And in fact, as you practice this, what I'm walking you through, you'll start to really see the market jump out at you, okay? And that's the key. All right, so I just put up here, I don't know, Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, so 13, lucky 13. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push up here. Let's just answer some questions. Are we bullish or are we bearish, okay? We'll do that. I got great questions, don't worry, I'll answer all the exits and all that. Uh, let me actually stop and get this. I got a question here is, 
I'm still stuck on the fact that claim to set trades at night, but how is that base volume? Isn't there a delay in risk? I want you to think of this for a second, this concept. Let's think about water boiling. If you've ever sat there and watched water boil, does, does it go from flat water from the faucet or your tap water to a raging boil? Of course not, right? There are stages that water goes through, and you can clearly identify the stages that water's in before you get a raging boil for your pasta, for your rice, whatever you're cooking, right? So when you first go to the faucet, you fill up your water. You should use cold water based on what I've seen, right? Use cold water. Then you take your pot over to the stovetop. You turn it on high. Maybe you sprinkle some salt in it to try to change the chemistry breakdown to speed up the, the process, right? Maybe you do a splash of olive oil if you're doing pasta. Whatever your, your technique is, you have a technique. Put the lid on, you put it on the stovetop. If you watch it, you're going to see the water start to give you signs that you're about to boil. Okay, So you'll start to see the water get a little cloudy. Then you'll start to see the water start to form small bubbles on the bottom of the pot. right? Then you'll start to see some bubbles start to come up to the surface. right? And then over time, that more bubbles start to appear. The next thing you know, You've got water boiling out of the pot, hitting the stovetop. We've all been there. You can probably just imagine this, this smell, right? The water boiling and hitting the stovetop, that smell that comes, right? So it just doesn't go to a boil, right? There are telltale signs that something's about to happen. That's how we use volume is we're trying to get a sense for the next breakout. We can't guarantee tomorrow. There's no guarantee for tomorrow. 100% certainty can guarantee you that volume today will be volume tomorrow. All we're trying to do is layer on probabilities. If a stock breaks out at volume today, there's a higher probability that that volume continues than there is that it doesn't. Okay, so if I look at a 50-50 split, if I see a volume activity day, odds are I'll see another one, right? May not be tomorrow, maybe the next day, but something is happening. Right. And that's what we want to be. We want to be at the point of something happening. OK, that's the whole premise. So you can see when volume runs, just look at the spy. OK. So see how we start to see these spikes? Boom, boom, boom. And then it slows down. Right. But you can see these spikes in volume happen in clusters. You see these clusters of volume, clusters of volume, then slow down, spike, pullbacks, spike in volume. Right. There's a cluster effect. If you just go on any chart and look back at all the clusters that appear, see the clusters together? That's the momentum we're trying to find. Going back to how volume works is it's just another tool to try to find out where activity is at a larger than normal level. Okay, so bullish, bearish, spy is bullish. Okay, it's above the trends. Let's go to the next one, DraftKings, right? This is where you start to establish bearish. You see DraftKings gap below, okay? That's a bearish pattern. CN, that is bullish on the 20, on the 40. It's bearish on the 10. This is a sideways setup, okay? So you'll start to see where the bars are in relation to these. Qs, bullish. You see how we're above all three. Ethereum, USD, sideways, okay? Anytime you're in between, these trends, just think sideways, okay? Keep it simple. There's advanced ways to trade sideways. We're not talking about that today. Facebook is overall bullish. We're up above all three. AHT, Ashford Hospitality Trust, okay? We just went bearish on the 10, but we're still strong on the 20 and the 40, okay? Anytime like this, that represents we're going more to the right than up. Look at ATOS. Therapeutics, you see how we're just below the 10, still above the 20, okay? We want all three together. Just keep it simple for today. Look at Netflix. Netflix is choppy. You see how we're sideways in between here? That's sideways. Look at Prudential Financial. We are bouncing off the 40, okay? So the 10, the 20, we're bearish, still holding on the 40. This is our last line in the sand, right? If it gets below this 40, that's gonna confirm bearish. Look at Tell, tell you're in, right? Sideways, we're in between. Riot. Riot just went bullet. Okay. See how we're above? Intel, final one of our 13. Intel is at an opportune time, right? You see how we just broke above. 
So just by using this simple setup of these trend lines, you can quickly flash and see what's happening, okay? Now, together, what we wanna see is the volume confirmation, okay? So of these, looking at a daily pattern, Intel just broke and had a trend change, right? It was bearish, we finally broke above. What we're waiting for Intel is a volume decision. We want a decision of the price action. Decision is driven by trading action, okay? Just think about that. When I see a surge, that means there is a defined direction of activity it's not there yet riot yesterday had it today it's not so this is why it's important that we have confirmations right so take a look at riot heavily driven by block by uh, bitcoin riot is you see this was the initial break okay so if you took what i'm teaching you right now into your strategy and you saw this yesterday you ran the same strategy we didn't have today yet what is your entry what is your pending trigger to get into a riot trade we had a high of 3808 what is your entry strategy what price do we want to buy blockchain riot blockchain what's the price type it in what do we need to have happen today for this to be a buy on riot we had the volume yesterday we had at the trend change, what is the price that gives us the confirmation that the price is moving up? Oh, I love it. You guys are getting this. 3809. Why? Because it's one tick above this bar. So by being this specific, and I'll give you the exits too. We'll do the exit strategy. So 3809 is our pending entry. That is our trigger price, okay? which is nothing more than one tick above this bar, right? One tick. Watch what happens today. Today, hey, it's not up there yet. We already saw it. 3809 is our pending entry. This is wonderful. I'm glad you guys are getting this, okay? This is very, you may not fully value this yet, but I promise you, you do this over and over again, your, your eyes will start to change. Your perspective will change. Okay, so let's go to today so far, right? This is why we don't just rush in and buy. We need to have Riot give us and tell us and perform at the breakout. So we don't deal with retracements. We don't deal with drawdown. We will, no one's 100%. You can't avoid whiplash. Whiplash is where you see a spike and you see a, a, a gap down, a retracement against you. Okay, that happens. We can't eliminate it with 100% certainty. But we can try to mitigate and lower the chance of that happening. So we used the basis of volume yesterday. And we had a final price confirmation that we need to have 3809 to go live to confirm the breakout. If not, if we just woke up today and said, you know what, I'm buying right. I like it. Let's just buy it. You're down. Okay, so you're down. We closed here. You're down a quarter percent, but you started off up a little bit, down a little bit. You had a low of, let's see, here's the close, a low of down 6%. If you traded the option and option, right? Stock is down 6%. You could be down 40% right, by rushing in. That's why we don't rush in. See, I'm sitting above the noise today. I'm sitting above the any type of turmoil, any type of emotions. I'm, a, I'm above that noise because I'm literally waiting for a confirmed entry. Okay, this is the beauty of timing. Okay, just because Riot showed up on what to trade, it broke the trend, it had the volume. If it doesn't go, it doesn't go the next day, which is today. Now it could in the last hour of the day, but I doubt it. Most of the entries with this strategy will trigger if I go back and look at all of these 120 trades, so there's 120 trades that we've sent out using this strategy in this group, 120 of them, all the way since August, okay? 90% of all of these trades go live. Remember, this is over 2,900% profit. Went live and hit profit targets or got stopped out in the first hour of the day. Honestly, 80%, probably in the first 15 minutes of the day right 
So if it doesn't happen in the first open, then odds are we're not going to get into the trade. It's just a pending trade. If it doesn't come up and hit, it's out, right? We're not going to be in it. It's going to disappear, and that's fine. So then tonight, if Riot still has volume, still above our price, we can go back in and set a new entry, okay? But odds are it's not going to hit the volume. So this volume becomes a live fluid evaluation, okay? So Riot would have showed up in this show strategy last night it would have because it checked these boxes that's the what right the when is it's got to break okay so that way we avoid this happening we avoid look what happened on june 9th you see we had a spike and then we had two days retracing right spike retracements we want to get that breakout that runs okay that's what we're looking for same thing for intel intel also now this one is, is a live trade right so if you follow this strategy for intel right you see how we broke above that's a trigger trade. Now we're down a little bit, but at least it came up and hit that entry for Intel. You see how the difference is? See how it kept moving up? It's retracing right now, but that's fine because these are swing trades. We're not scalping same day, right? The key is, is we had a volume day right at volume. You see the 28. One tick above that is 58.21. We had a 58.42 high. So this would be a triggered trade right now. I love Intel, man. It's a, lots of liquidity, lots of volume on Intel. So, you know, that's a, a great setup, right? But that's what we want to avoid is just rushing in, okay? Yeah, so above the previous bar high, right? So let me give you an example of intraday trading, right? So let's go to like a one hour, same process. So here's a one hour chart. So the one hour breakout happened here on last week, the 10th, right? You see how we had a breakout? Right, same concept, but one hour, it's the previous bar. So it's the bar high. So if I'm on a one hour, if I'm on a two hour, you know, it's it's really on the bars. I just happen to be on a daily. So that's end of day, right? So it just depends on, you know, if I'm looking at daily charts or less, but for me, I'm always in a daily. So quickly, you can see what's happening. And even Ethereum, you know, a lot of talk about Ethereum. You can go to Bitcoin if you wanted to, just to show you the overlap in, uh, in the strategy so let's go to bitcoin coinbase okay and watch how this volume play steps in let's go to breakouts back here okay you see these breakouts and you see the volume plays below see the volume spikes we're looking at where's the volume break where are we at in connection with these breakouts you see the volume move below you see the selling breakout right so here's the short that we broke below volume day there's the short on the way down i don't really short cryptos but you get my point right you can see the volume and now we're coming to a crucial point for bitcoin we get above this purple at forty one thousand four twenty two, and we get a volume play on bitcoin bullish oh man that's that's the next potential breakout back up okay so it doesn't matter if i'm talking stocks i can go to forex Let's go to the Aussie dollar. I don't know, I'll just pick one. Let's go to Euro dollar. You overlay the strategy. So here's the break. This is daily. You can go to smaller time frame, like a two hour, right? So trading Forex. See this trend break? This stuff is, I mean, you really start to understand a simple flow of trading. So this was the most recent break. See the volume play, see the columns above, then you can short here, okay? We're one, one unit below, so the one pip below the low. So one, two, one, six, three, eight, or one, two, one, six, two is our level here, right? I mean, and then you've got your catch, right? So volume started here, volume started here, right? This is the euro of trading currencies. There's our setup, okay, set our pending entry, and look at this drop. You know, we're just, we're trying to find where the potential move is, right? And that's how this is applicable no matter what security, what instrument we're looking on. Euro dollar, if I get above this purple, this average and a volume play, I'm getting a pending entry to go back up again, okay? So this 4D trading, I'm telling you, people have spent thousands and thousands, some of you have spent thousands and thousands of dollars on how to read trends, how to identify um, trading opportunities, some of you tens of thousands of dollars. And all this stuff I'm giving you is all free open access to the world, okay? There's nothing proprietary about what I've showed you, 
okay it's just how we put it together in a simple simple format okay that's the whole process here so exits we it's a very simple approach like i said we have complex strategies to exits at targets and all that fun stuff but all i'm going to do is walk you through a very simple process to, to leverage the simple concepts that the market likes to go where the market's been before, okay? So if we take a look at this setup, this is, I'm gonna go to a daily chart. This is another one of our signals that we had. I'm just gonna show you these because I've got the results to go show you the option with it historically. So this was a trade setup identified. This is INO, it's a pharmaceutical company that we sent out and identified last week. This is a two-day trade. So we sent this out Sunday, next day, two days later, okay? So let's break down the strategy. So we had a volume play. So how did we get the profit target of $9.26? Okay, so I'm gonna show you this. There's advanced ways to do targets. I'm just gonna show you the most simplest way that makes it easy to repeat. So here's INO. We sent this trade out on the 6th, which was Sunday, for Monday, okay? so the trade triggered remember we have the trigger price on the next trading day which happened to be monday send it out sunday the trades are only good for the next day so this was monday so we had an entry of eight dollars and 13 cents we had a stop loss of 6.98 we had a profit target of nine dollars and 26 cents okay this is the trade setup that we sent out on the 7th so there's a 9.26 i'll give you the stop loss just so you can see it just see it visually it was 698 so you can see how i picked it okay so this was the setup that we had i already showed it to you this was the day we pended the entry okay so we're one tick above this bar which was Friday, so Sunday, the last day was Friday. Okay, so we had the volume play, and now we've got our targets. So, what we do to get our targets is we look back historically at the previous pivot points. Okay, so this is a very simple approach. This is not dynamic. We use the fact that the market likes to go where the market's been, the price likes to go where it's been before. Okay. In times where we're at all-time highs, like 52-week highs, things like that, we have a different way to pick them. But for the majority of signals, we use a very simple pattern recognition technique of looking back at key levels of either resistance or support, and then we leverage the stop loss the same nature, just on the bottom side, okay? So 698 was due to this previous low here, right here, that we found on May 25th. Okay, so this was the trade we set up for Monday. We went back on the pattern and identified these key bounces right here off this $7 low. So that's why the price was $6.99, one tick below, to preserve and mitigate risk based on a seven-day low. Okay, so that was the previous seven-day low. So we're using the simple patterns previously to set an objective stop loss. On the profit target, the profit target, the exact one, let me just pull it up so you can see the actual order. Just so you can see the exact orders that we sent out. I think it makes it easy to understand it. So here we go. So here is. So we had our buy August 20th, $7 strike. Uh, stock profit target was 926. So there's the order we sent out, right? You see the date here. It is June 6, 941. Okay. So plenty of time to set the trade up for Monday. 926. So if I look back here, you can see visually where this 926 came into play. You see how we this previous level of resistance, so resisted this up move. So we, that was our profit target, right? So I'm using this previous price to set up this profit target. So trading up towards where we've been before. And this regularly happens. You can see it up and down the line. And you always wonder like, how does the market bounce at key levels? You see these one, two, three bottom lows? 
See how we bounce off it again here in the past? See this? See how we hit it again? See, we hit it again. So we had all these levels of convergence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times back here. That's a relevant price. Okay, so we'll teach you that as we get more advanced in these lessons. But that is literally how we identify. We use what's happened to help us forecast the future, right? The markets like to move where they've been before, right? So that's the setup. Yeah, I love this. Yeah, we'll set up a live trade in a second here. And that'll wrap up the presentation, all right? So as you can see, we caught momentum. And that's how in two days, we got live on the seventh next day. So how much is that? Well, on the option, we caught that for 100% winner, underneath 100%. It was like 90, let's see. That was INO right here, 96%. Two-day trade from the seventh to the ninth, 96% profit. 96% profit. So you almost doubled your money. So you put $2,000 in that trade, you're about $1,900 in profits. Okay. In two days. That's the power breakout is your time and trade becomes manageable. You know, going into it, how to set this all up, right? It's all set up in advance of the market being there. So you're not guessing anymore. Yeah. The strategy works on all those markets. Okay, it works on Forex, futures, stocks, options. Same process. So let's go into just find a trade for the day. Okay, so I'm going to flash through some more of these. And let's find a setup just so I can walk you through this. So I'm just, this is just a random list. I'm just taking a peek. Let's do this. I'm going to set this up real quick. This will speed up our process. We'll give you these filters. And I'm just going to search across the market. I'm looking for very specific trades and I'm going to flash through these. I'll give you exactly what we're looking for. Oh, there's one torch light. I'm going to show one where we have easy targets to pick. I like that setup, but we're going to look for easy targets. See, I'm just flashing through this list. These are all volume stocks today. These are all volume stocks. This is what I asked to find in trading view. So I'm just flat. Oh, there we go. BCTX. It's a low volume day though. I wanted to see some volume behind it. Pattern wise, it was there. I want to see the right break. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm looking for. I want to see an initial break. So I'm just flashing through these. I'll show you the setting in a moment. Oh, that's getting close. Not there yet, not rushing. Keep your eye up here. We're looking for the right setup. Oh, Liberty Interactive Corp. I don't think they have options, so I'm not going to look at that one. Uh, UMC, that's not one. Remember, I'm looking, I'm just looking right here and saying where the bars are and where's the volume. Am I above or below? That's all I'm looking at. So I can, let's. Oh man, Ford is not there. I love trading Ford. It's not there where we need it to be. I don't like these acquisition companies, so I don't really get into those. AGI. See, these are patterns there, right? But there's no volume. Okay, I want to find that volume break. See, the volume's just not there. That's close. It's just not there. GoPro, we made money already in the last week or so. Let's try to get a little well-rounded. <laughs> FTI, that's not there yet. Barclays. All right. So that one's close. This is not the volume. Okay. So I'm going to just go to larger prices. I'm going to go to larger price levels. So this is what I'm looking at. So I'm just using a simple filter set here. You could take a screenshot, but this is what I'm just using to scan the market really quick. So I'm actually just running volume and um, only stocks that have the volume minimums are showing up. Okay, so that's what this list is. There's 45 here. We should be able to catch one in this setup. So here's one, you see how we have this break above and we have a volume day today, almost twice the volume, see the 5.8 million. The, the, only, the only negative is that 
this high is 3% away. I don't think we'll hit it by the end of the day. So I don't want to set something up if we don't have a chance to hit it today. So SM, looking for a tighter breakout. And you'll see it when we get it. I mean, it's going to jump out on the screen. See, all these are lower volumes. A lower volume trading day. All right, so here's one. So we got NOV. Okay, take, see, take a look. All right, so we have this penetration above the blue. See this? And what else do we have? We just, we're right at the volume for the day. See 3.9 million shares today, 4.1 is the average, right? So we should hit that, we're gonna hit that average. We still got another you know, three and a half hours, two and a half hours of the trading day left, right? So how do we set up the entry? Well, the high of the day is 17.45. Okay, so let's go and set up our entry and I'll show you how to set up in the chart. So 17.45 is gonna be our pending entry, right? So we're going one tick above today's high. We want to catch that momentum. What we're going to use is a stop loss below this low. Okay, so see these two bars? We're going to go below that. Uh, maybe too tight. So we, we don't want to be too tight. You want to be at least 5%. So these are some of the lessons we give you in our checklist. You want to be at least you know 5% of, of room on an option. So I don't just guess. We're going to use this pattern. See this retracement down here? We're going to use this low. Okay, so 1583 is going to be our low for the stop loss. So I'm just using the previous pattern back here to give us our stop loss. Okay, so profit target wise, we want to have at a minimum one to one basis here. So if we're, it don't have to be exact, but that's 70 cents, dollar 70 here, dollar 60 difference between the entry and our stop loss so we've got to be at least that level above okay so i'm going to go back here and i'm going back in time so this is our corona sell-off period and see this previous high here at twenty dollars and two cents so we're going to be inside of that okay so twenty dollars and one cent so we want to be inside this previous resistance level back here all right so that's going to be our profit target at 2001 so we're not going into uncharted territories we're going where the price has been before and that's how the markets react you don't have to use this right away just practice when i'm walking you through and if you want we'll send you trades and then you can come to our classes and we'll teach you more how this all works right so it's up to you like i said we have a service that we do all this for you you've already seen it okay so this is the setup for nov Trading the stock, there's our trade, all right? But we're gonna trade the option. So trading the option, I'm gonna give you these rules. And for those that sign up for our signal service, we give you all the rules so you have them all in a checklist, okay? But here we go to NOV and now I'm in my option chains. Now we want at least 45 days on these daily signals, okay? So it's a daily chart. We're going a minimum of 45 days. That means july is too close july expiration i'm just doing monthly expirations we do it weekly so that's a whole nother lesson on picking the weekly option we're going to stick to monthly so if, if july is too soon which it is it's 31 days from now then we're going to kick out to august okay we're going to go to the next expiration period now we're on the call side okay so we're going to set up a call the key areas that i look at on the option selection are found here so Delta, open interest. Those are my two columns that I monitor. And then next to that is the spread. So open interest, delta, spread. Okay, that's the, that's the way to walk through this. So for me, I follow a 65 to 75 delta. That means we're going to be in the money. We don't want to be too much in the money where we don't get volatility. We don't want to be too far out of the money where now we're gambling. We're going to be right in this range. So that's the delta minimums we're looking for. So in this example, 65, 75 Delta, we're here or here, okay? Open interest, we're looking at a minimum of 100. I like the more the merrier, right? But a minimum of 100 in open interest. Volume, I'm not really too concerned about. I don't wanna be one, uh, but if there's activity on volume, that's fine. 
but open interest to me is more of the secondary market, all right? So the next thing is I wanna look at spread. So I look at spread between the bid and the ask in the terms of percentages, okay? So this is a 20 cent spread right now between the bid and the ask. So 20 cents against a $2.25, that's less than 10%. So I wanna be a, a sub 10% spread basis between my bid and my ask. Okay, so we'll give you these rules. Don't worry about memorizing it. Um, it's part of the service if you want the service. If you want to learn this yourself, you can watch the recording and, and have this. But spread less than 10%. Okay, that's the spread. So I go to the closest one, which is going to be the $16 strike. So I've got my 515 checks the box. I've got my 6575, that checks the box. So I've got a less than 10 box. That's my selection process. So because I already know where I want to get in, where I want to get out, how I manage, manage my stop, all I have to do now is select the option. And that's how I select it. So super simple, but this by itself, what I just shared with you, is worth thousands and thousands of dollars. Just an education to pick option chains. All right, but that's it. So now what I do is I come in here and I set the trade up. Okay, so I come back in here. This is where we get the custom entry. So I right click. So if you have think or swim, then this is exactly how you do it. If you don't, we have lessons on all the main major exchange. Uh, don't worry if this isn't brokers on how to do what I'm going to do in your broker. I'm just going to show you how this is done. So I use an OCO bracket. What this allows us to do is to set up all three orders in one snapshot. Okay, so at one time, so I set these to open, set these to close. You don't have to memorize this. Like I said, I've got our entry, our profit target, stop loss, and I'm going to input it into this account. Okay, and you'll see it done here. Stop losses, profit targets are going to be good to close. Entry is only good for today. Okay, so we're going to buy at the market price of that option contract only if NOV marks at or above our entry at 17.45. That's what I'm telling think or swim. Now I'm going to set my stop loss. Okay, so if we hit 17.45, then I'm going to have a market order sell on the option to stock trigger if we get stopped at to drive the option. So now I'm gonna set my profit target. Like I said, don't worry about this. If this is the first time you're doing this, I've got, you'll be able to do it as fast as I do. So here's the entire trade all at once. Entry, stop loss, profit target. You can see that we're only gonna buy these contracts Okay. If NOV marks at or above 1745, okay. if this happens today, so we've got a couple hours for this to happen. If this happens, then automatically these this trade hands free. I hit send, and now I've got a working order right here. See how it's working? So it says waiting conditionally. What's it waiting for? It's waiting for $17.45. If that trigger, those will see these two to triple those and change to Wendley. Now I've got a entire hands-free approach to these trades. Okay, I don't have to come in and mess with this unless I want to, which I don't. This allows for full objective trading based on the underlying stock. Now, if NOV does not come up and hit our entry, then we're not in the trade, okay? So then because this is only good for today, this trade will go away. It'll, it'll cancel itself out. There's a trade pending. See this trade pending here, K-A-N? That is also a signal from the previous day. And remember what we talked about. Here's the trade we sent out last night in that signal service. 
here is the entry one tick above so on a day that we don't break see see what happened today it's retraced we're not in that trade okay see how the trades here this was yesterday we're not in there you know All right, so we're not into it and we don't want to be into it. We only want to be in at the breakout. And, and that's and that's where the patience really becomes a powerful, powerful tool to drive this. So with that, are there if there's any questions, feel free. I've been answering them as we've been going. You guys have had wonderful, wonderful questions. And I know this is a different approach. But does it make sense? Right. Is it logical on how we're able to quickly identify direction using this simple moving average? Does it make sense? Is it reasonable on how volume comes into play? Right. That's the only process that you have to really identify with. Other than that, the application becomes built on habit. Okay. So if this makes sense and you like this style of trading, then as I started the presentation with, you can follow along with this. So I got a question, how frequently do you send trades? Every day. So every day, starting Sunday through Thursday, we evaluate the market. And if we get all of the appropriate boxes checked and the right option contracts, then we send out a signal. So every day we evaluate. Some weeks there could be five every day you could get a signal on days where there's low activity low volume then you may only get one or two that week but every day we're looking so it's all independent of what took place in that day okay so that's what makes this unique uh 10 20 40 that's using the math so 10 is half of 20 20 is half of 40 10 is two halves of 40 so it's all, all based upon the phenomenon of 50 percent. so we'll explain that more in our classes but that's a whole nother lesson on 50%. I mean, a whole nother uh, concept there. All right. I love teaching it, but at the same time, I could go on hours and hours and hours. All right. So this process that we're walking you through, if you want us to deliver them to you, you can do that. Okay. So we have, I've already showed you results. Uh, we have that available to everybody. So this is the results of what we've seen. So since August 5th, us running this strategy on this specific niche of trades, the total profit so far has been almost 3,000%. On a monthly basis, the average is about 330% in profits or 3.3x. So if you trade $2,000 per trade on average, multiply that by 3.3. That means on a monthly basis, we average around $6,000 in profits on a $2,000 investment. If you're, if you're investing $5,000, that's 15,000 plus. It all depends upon what you're investing per trade, right? The average hold time is about 19 days. So we're not talking about months and months and months. This is the performance over 120 trades. This is not five trades, six trades. It's not a thousand trades. It's only against 120, okay? This program is available for $399 a year. So in a given year, we've run this for about six months now, seven months. We've given out over 100 trades. You're talking over 220 trades in a year for only $400 for the whole year. Okay, so you're talking about $2 a trade signal. That's the average. So every single day, we give you full transparent signals. We tell you what symbol to trade, what option contract to select. We give you the stock price trigger. We give you the stop loss. We give you the profit target. If a trade is there, we send it to you. We evaluate it every single day. I would average in a month. 75% of the trading days, you have a signal, okay? Full transparency, full lessons, full access to classes for only $399 per year. And we give you a 60-day money-back guarantee. So you have 60 days to evaluate this program. You imagine 60 days, you're talking 40, 50 trades potentially to evaluate. If we can't get your return on investment in 60 days, you let us know, we'll give you 100% of your money back. As a bonus, I've talked a lot about the lessons, talked a lot about the classes. We're going to give you access to my Market Pro Live trading room. It's two times a week. For the first month, you don't have to worry about anything. Come to see us Mondays at 7 o'clock at night, Thursdays at 10 a.m. 
and I'm going to keep teaching you this strategy over and over again. If you liked what you see, if it makes sense, but maybe you're not quite ready yet, then let us hand deliver these trades, show up in our classes, and we'll keep teaching you this inside of this special session. Okay. So to sign up for this, it's very simple. All you have to do is go to the optionsprofitgenerator.com and sign up. You've got 60 days, no question asked refund policy. It either works for you or it doesn't. I mean, there's nothing to really evaluate other than that. I've been doing this for 13 years and to sit there and generate signals to allow us to spoon feed you and hand you in. So if you click on the link that I sent to you, optionsprofitgenerator.com, it takes you to this site. Okay, it redirects you here to simple URL and you can see all the details, fill out your billing information. It's all set up for you. Okay, it's it's easy to do. And what happens is, is then you access our trading membership site. Okay, so in there you'll find lessons on how to set up your trades, right? How to use the stop loss, how to use the profit target. You have access to our recorded classes and you get our checklists of how to set up and choose the option contract, how to set up and identify profit target stop losses. Everything is rolled out in a simple to use membership site with all of your various resources. For $399 a year, you're gonna have access to all that I've shared with you, continuous learning on the strategy today, hand delivered signals with all of the full transparent details to maximize this trade, right? So. I've got some winning percentage questions. Yeah, so the winning percentage is, is 50, I just ran it, 59.5%. The average winners are 71%. When we lose, the average loss is 30%. That's how you take 112 trades and back into the 2,900% returns. So the average over the month since August has been 330% in profits. So if you've got $100 in your trading account, you won't be able to make enough money to to make this worthwhile. I mean, honestly, $100 to trade with is very difficult to make any money with, right? I would say if you average, your average investment size per trade is greater than $500, then this will monetize itself very quickly, right? But if you're below that, I would think you should save a little more before you get into the market, right? I was the chief revenue officer for MTI for a decade. I haven't worked there since 2018. I've worked with Kevin Dixon at MTI and other groups before as well. I know Kevin well too. I've known Kevin a long time. It's got to be pushing eight, nine years. Yeah, so there's a small network of top traders in the space. And with my access in my career, I know almost every every major place. Yeah, that's why I'm not there anymore. <laughs> yeah, so I left in 2018. Yep, 2018. Yep. Yeah, I know Chris and Tyson. Yeah, very well. Yep, Pulver, Tyson. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Lake Mary, yeah. I'm a little north. I'm in DeBerry. I'm in the country. How much should I, I mean, at a minimum, you want to have at least enough capital where you can trade at $500 per trade. I mean, to really maximize it. Here's the thing. I mean, the average contract sizes that we send out, like today's trade was $200 a, uh, a contract. You know, so if you've got $500, you can trade. I mean, that's two contracts. It's all return on investment, right? So to show you the stats, right? So you saw the stats, you know, total profit accumulated since August is 2,974%. Okay. So that's really a multiplier. So take out a couple decimals. It's 29 times your average investment. So if you traded a thousand dollars per trade that we've sent since we started, you would have $29,000 in profits. Okay. If you average $2,000 per trade, you're talking $58,000 in profits. Right, five thousand dollars. You're talking a whole lot of money. You're talking one hundred fifty thousand dollars in profits. Okay, that's the, how you leverage returns to calculate where you could be or where you can be. Right. So I just want to highlight that. Yeah, one contract is fine to start. I mean, everyone's got to start somewhere. Not everybody has the luxury to come in with several hundred thousand dollars and come in trading ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars a contract. All right. I mean, a trade. So getting started is the first step. 
Now, this program is designed around small price stocks. So you're not going to see me send out a signal or a, an alert for a $1,000 contract. You just won't see it in this program. We have programs like that, but not this one. So we limit the overall cost of investment by how we search for these signals. And that's how we designate this a low cost option signal service because we're intentionally lowering the overall cost by how we find the stock. Okay, so. Oh uh, yeah, I haven't followed them. So they have equities on demand. Yeah, I'm sure they always have a new product every day. <laughs> Yeah, Perez, one is fine to start. You want to at least have one. <laughs> pattern day trading rules for options? Yeah, there's still pattern day trading rules, but all of these signals, like I would say of the 120 signals we sent out, we've had two signals that all triggered within the first 15 minutes. Like, we got in at 9.30, we got out by 9.45, literally 15 minutes, two times in 120 trades. You know, so pattern day trading rules is five same day round trip trades consecutively, okay, within a five day rolling period. So you think about 120 trades, two, only two of those times have we done it. So because we're on a daily signal, we're average hold time is about 19 days. You know, it can happen, but it, it's very rare that we hit the profit target entry same day. No, that's a good question. So it sounds too good to be true. Why would I not want to join this program? So some of the feedback on this is, you know, people get it and they don't trade, right? So if you're really not going to play some trades with us, you're not going to do anything with it, you know? So... If you don't show up to class, you know, we have two classes a week that we give you access to with me. So Monday nights, Thursday at 10 a.m. If you don't take have the time or want to spend, you know, at least one of those classes with us, just reviewing it live with us or watching the recording, you know, you're not going to really get the big bang for the buck. So, you know, because for us, the reason we're able to offer this price is because we deal with the masses, you know, so we're able to offer a low price. This is, you know, because we're dealing with, you know, several hundred, I mean, I think we're at three, almost 400 people that follow these, you know, we don't, we can offer a low price. So it's not for us a price, you know, question. It's just, we are able to allow it and provide it because we have, we have me and a team, we go through and find trades. We're able to broadcast that to the masses, you know? So it's not like we have a huge army that drives up the price, you know? So that's why the price is so low, you know, it doesn't make sense to. Yeah, I've used that. So that tech, so there's technology, you know, that does a lot of what we do in one spot, but you got to pay for it. You know, sure. I use trading view. You'll see me use bar charts as well. I, use, I do that at night. So on my Monday class, I use bar charts to search the market, you know, so I use free resources. And the reason I do that is because I've done this 13 years. I've sold over $150 million in products. And with that experience, it's like, all this stuff is out there for you. And at this stage of my career, it's like, look, I'll give it to you. If you want me to help, then I'll give you signals. That's my service. Training, and if you want me to do it for you, then sure, there's a fee to that. But trading on charts, identifying trends, understanding volume, selecting option chains, I mean, I just don't see in today's age why we've got to charge so much money for it. <laughs> so I don't. You know, that's just my philosophy, but some in the industry don't like that. But at the end of the day, I have my own reputation. I got my own, you know, process. And for me, I love the more I give, the more I get. And all the stuff I gave you all today, it's real stuff. You can go use it. I trade it. You come see me time and time again. If you see me before, you see me run the same strategy. You see me at night, I'll run the same strategy. You see me at Thursday at 10, you'll see me run the same strategy over and over and over again. Yeah, so the training is twice a week. All you have to have with us is an active subscription to one of our services. And you come to our classes. Monday's at 7 o'clock Eastern time. Thursday's at 10 a.m. If you want more signals, we have other signal services. But at a minimum, have one. 
like this is my favorite one. I trade this more than anything. It's my favorite type of trading. But we also offer other ones, right? So it's all dependent upon what you want. But all you do is have one of those programs and you come see me in class. And I do the same thing as I did today, but less introduction of who I am, introduction of the strategy. Because, you know, as you start to see and get these the recaps, now I'm breaking down strategy, breaking down trades, and then we get into new trades, you know? So it's just, that's all you need is for those classes. Uh, good question. How many trades do you have at one time? Uh, I'll tell you right now, there's like seven, there's seven open positions. The most I've seen is 10 at one time. The most I've seen open is 10 on this program. Some of the stock programs we run where it's just straight stocks, you know, no options, just stock trading. You could have a lot of open positions, but that's really portfolio growth type trading. You know, because we're in option trading, we have expirations. You know, we have we have to get out of the trade, right? We can't hold it forever. You know, that the most I've seen is 10, average is probably seven to six open positions at one time. No, this program here is straight calls, straight puts. So single leg trade, single direction trading. So the Monday night class is 7 p.m. at night, Eastern Standard Time. That's Mondays, every week on Mondays. Thursdays at 10 a.m. So that way you can see the end of day trading that I do and the evening time, Mondays. And then Thursday, you can see how to use this strategy in the live market. Okay, so that's why we have those two distinct times. The class is on average about an hour and 15 minutes, hour and a half. Some longer, like today's long. I mean. Normally I'm, I don't go this long, but with all the questions and, you know, I have a, I have an issue of uh, being a people pleaser, right? So when I get a large group and lots of questions, then I'm just going to keep delivering. So, but this will be recorded too. This will be available um, to be re-reviewed. So great question. Yeah, all the classes are recorded. Uh, I got a question. What time of day do you send? So between five o'clock and seven o'clock is when we send out signals, Eastern time. So between five and seven o'clock at the latest, maybe eight, but you know, all at night. So you'll have the evening before and then the morning of to set up these trades. The highest price stock, well, it depends because some of the stocks, you can have a $40 stock price and have a $2 share price. So. I would think in terms of share price, the largest share price that we'll send out from an option standpoint. Okay, so from the option side, I think the highest we've sent out is three dollars and eighty cents. We look for five dollars to twenty-five dollars stocks, but sometimes there's stocks in the forty-dollar range that are super cheap or, or super inexpensive to trade options, but they have a higher stock price. So we don't really it's all based on the st the option share price. Oh, great, Barbara. Looking forward to working with you. That's fantastic. Yeah, if there's any questions or if you want some more individualized Q&A, you know, you can also type in your phone number and uh, either myself or one of my team members will hop on the phone just to answer any questions. Yeah, we do. So Adam's got a question. Do you offer service for a uh, higher price option? Yeah, we do. So more of the core S&P 500, NASDAQ 100s, the, the larger, uh, more well-traded. Yeah, we have, it's the same type of pricing program, but it's for those more core well-traded stocks. Yep. Yeah. It, the, the strategy is the same. The difference is, is that we're looking for a specific low cost. And it, it takes a certain you know volume. We look for a certain type of liquidity. You know, so there, there is a different search approach. Yeah. The 60-day guarantee is just time-based. There is no steps to qualify. I've run businesses with all this, you know, large ramp of steps, you know, and it's just obnoxious, in my opinion, to run somebody through qualifications to get your money back it either works or it doesn't you either want it or you don't want it 
So all I ask is that you let us know within the first 60 days. Ideally, you take some trades, you come to class with us. And if it doesn't work for you, if it doesn't make sense, if you don't like this style of trading, then that's fine. Just let us know within the first 60 days. That's all we ask. 61 days, we're going to say, do you really want it? I mean, you know, but overall, we're here to work with you. Okay, but there's no qualifications. You literally just, we have an email, support at trade desk, support.com. You don't like it, let us know. We'll give you money back. Yeah, just keeps it simple that way. <laughs> Uh, you're in South Africa. Yeah, so South Africa, I believe Interactive Brokers works well. I know my Australian traders use Interactive Brokers too. You can do the same setups. Yeah, just type in your phone number. So if you want to be contacted, just type in your phone number. It's secure, private only. You can see it and only I can see it. Nobody else can see your comments. Yeah, so if you got any questions, just type in your phone number. Uh, I, I like to call as well, so you may hear from me or you'll hear from one of my other team members. Yeah, I had a session earlier, you know, to me, it's it's about personality at the end of the day. I mean, if someone's going to be in a room like this with you, they've got experience. They know how to trade. I know how to trade. I've been trading for a very long time. But the key is, can I get you to the point where you can trade if you want that level? Some of you don't want it. Some of you just want me to give you trades. That's fine, too. I have no problem doing that. That's why we offer the service. But if you want to learn how to do this, then you're going to come to class with us. And most of the time, your success is going to be dependent upon... How well you and I clicked? How well do we work together? Can you understand the concepts that I'm saying, the analogies that I use? That's going to be the real defining factor because most of the time, everybody that's going to speak to you in a, in a session like this, as a speaker, as an event host, we've got success. We've got confidence built on success. But really, the magic is can we help you individually? Because there's, I see a lot of signups. There's about 20, 30 of you signed up already. That's fantastic. But not everybody I'm, I'm going to be able to help, you know, just because we may, just may not jive, it just may not click, you know, it may not make sense as we start to walk through it. And that's fine. You know, that's how life is. Um, but to me, I think that's one of the biggest, biggest factors is can you get along and relate with your coach, with your mentor to really make it make sense? You know, no, I don't use Smart Trader. I use TradingView. So my chart work I do on TradingView, any type of advanced search or filtering i do with bar charts which is free all this stuff is free i mean trading view i use free account i have paid account but you can do the same on the free account bar charts so the first class or two i just walk you through how to set up your accounts it's all free i'm not an affiliate either so I don't, i'm not paid monetarily by trading view or bar charts you know so it's just i know their resources and there's no reason why not to give it out to you Oh yeah, I'll give you all the settings for the screening. Yep. Yeah, we just didn't have time today to get through it, but yeah, I've got all the screens, all the different settings, walk you through step by step how to use them. That's what this really comes down to. So, effectively, this signal service here is just one of many ways that you're going to learn how to generate your own trading signals. You are going to become your own trading signal generator. You yourself so that way, over time, you may cut the ties of reliance on anybody else. You know, you may just want to hang out with me, and that's fine, and you know, in our company, that's fine. But the goal is, is to really just give you the tools, give you the empowerment, and cut the ties of reliance. If I can do it, you can do it. That's my that's my philosophy. And if I give you exactly what to look for, and it may not take the first time, maybe the second time, maybe the third time. But the habit of doing the same process is the key to this. You're not going to have to learn a strategy to trade a $100 stock. If we're going to trade Ford, which is $14, bucks, $13, bucks, whatever it's trading at, the same way I trade Ford is the same way I trade Google, same way I trade Netflix. The difference is it's going to be the level of investment, right? But the strategy is the same. You want to trade cryptos? We have a crypto signal service. I use the same strategy I showed you today, trading cryptos, trading Forex, trading futures, the same process. It's the same process. So the repeatableness of it, it becomes immense. That's our training, right? So it says 30 day ticket, but that's, that's our training. So like I said, as long as you have an active program with us, 
It's the options profit generator. It could be the EverSignal Pro. It could be our uh, cash attractor program, which is just stocks once a week. You know, so we have other programs, but this is my favorite one. You'll have access to my classes. That's all it takes. Yep. That's all it takes. And we'll be here with you. So remember, if you've got questions, if you need help, type in your phone number. You'll receive a phone call. It'll be a 407 number. Right, so we're I'm gonna I'm just north of, of Orlando. I'm in DeBerry. I'm in the country. I'm not in the suburbs of downtown Orlando. I'm just over John uh, the St. John's River, <laughs> which is considered the country here. I had to get out of the hustle and bustle of the downtown, of the city life. All right, so it looks like we've got. I think I've got all the initial questions. There are several of you that have. Um, Their phone number's in for additional support. That's that's perfect. This program here on has been live since August 5th. This one. But I've been running this strategy for years. This specific niche. So the track record of the 2,900% has been live since August 5th, 2020. 120 trades. 120 trades through the program. Yeah, so type in optionsprofitgenerator.com and that takes it to the site. You can also go to concordiafinancialexchange.com. That's our main site. If you have any questions, you can also email me at, I'll send it to you, matt at concordiafinancialexchange.com. I just sent that in the chat box. If you want to email me, that's perfect too. Uh, I'll type in my phone number here. If you want to call direct to our office, you can do that as well. And you can have that. No, not currently. So, there, you know, we don't have an active program for credit spreads. You know, in my career, it's been that's one of the most difficult to start off with with people. So, I've learned in my career to stay in my lane. If you think about it, I'm, I'm born on breakout. So, really, breakout identification of strategies to trade straddles. It's it's counterintuitive to the breakout. <laughs> so it's a little different, right? I don't. Yeah, so I've been in this industry for 13 years. I was a but an analyst first, so taught as a webinar presenter teacher, right? So early on in 2007, and then over my career moved up to be the chief revenue officer. So along those lines for me to be in my role to carry my seat, I had to maintain my master charting level ability of analysis and teaching, right? So that's where all this is born from. So imagine 13 years being paid to do this, to be a chartist, to be a teacher, a coach, and then from there went up to management leadership. I always maintained a focus of trading in my entire career so that's why at an event like this like half of you already know who i am the other half don't you know and that's just the nature of these types of events you know yeah i trade forex as well um the strategy i deploy is the same in the forex but my active trading the majority of my trading is done in this program and then a specific stock trading um strategy which is just a specific type of stock. But this strategy doesn't matter if you're trading 5G, you're trading cannabis stocks. It's the same process. All we're doing is limiting the search to a specific segment of the market, right? So the beauty of this is that 
this is us hand delivering your signals in this specific niche. But like I said, you're gonna learn how to identify all different types of signals for you. Yeah, so what's gonna happen here, it takes a few minutes. So in a few minutes, you're gonna then automatically execute all of the uh, automation. So you'll get an email with your username to log in, the site to log into, you'll get your welcome email, and then you'll be uh, provided access to our traders membership site. So it takes a few minutes after you sign up, but it'll be in your inbox. Um, if you have any questions as well, Matt at ConcordiaFinancialExchange.com. Everybody that signed up, you'll also get a personalized phone call just to, to give you a warm welcome. Uh, so everybody that signed up, you will get a call uh, today. Um, there's a lot of you that just signed up, so we don't have an army here. So you know, <laughs> we'll uh, didn't anticipate this many people, but we'll have uh, my team ramped up and we'll be doing some outbounds just to give you a warm welcome, answer any questions. Uh, that you may have and just give you a nice hello and a warm greeting with us all right so we do appreciate it no they're totally different you know so if you like the nine dollar cash attractors then stick with it it's a totally different set of signals right if you if you just want to do this then you can just cancel the other one and keep this one it's up to you the cash attractors is really rocking too i mean that's that's all stock signals. Most of those aren't optionable. If they are optionable, we'll send you some options tips for them, but most of that's all stock trades. All right, yeah, so everybody that just signed up, there's a lot of you, um, just to let you know who we've got. So Barbara, I've got you, Stan Lee, Elizabeth, Douglas, Craig, James, Aggie, uh, Victor, Gerard, uh, Ding, we've got you, Jorge, uh, Bernard, uh C Wayne, we got Wayne. Uh we got Mark A. William W. We got uh Maurice FC as well. Uh Ron have got you. Uh James, just want to let you know. Thank you. Looking forward to working with you all. Uh Richard Q. Uh we got Dave. Dave S. Looking forward to it. John L. Welcome to the team, uh, Michael S, Richard B, uh, Pedro, we've got you, Colin, and Boa, appreciate working with you, looking forward to it as well. Holy cow, yeah, we got quite a few of you. Perez, yeah, looks forward to it, yeah. Yeah, no worries, Adams, I'll give you a buzz, either myself or one of my team members. All right, fantastic, so yeah, Perez, yeah, looking forward to working with you, hope it works out. You know, it's no guarantee it does. You know, if it doesn't, you know, just let us know and you've got 60 days. Plenty of time, plenty of trades, plenty of classes. You think about it twice a week, 60 days. I mean, that's 16 classes. You know, you can watch the recording if you can't make it live to really dig into this. So I do appreciate you all. I know it went way over. Um, really appreciate the feedback. I love the engagement, made it uh, quite enjoyable. And, um, I look forward to seeing you. So everybody that signed up, we'll see you in class on Thursday at 10 a.m., which is always fun. For those that typed in your phone number, like I said, hang tight. We'll be reaching out to you to get those uh, any initial questions uh, answered for you. So appreciate you all. Happy trading. And we look forward to seeing you in our next event. Thank you all. Yeah, we'll get recordings out. Yeah, we'll get the recording set out as well. Yep. Yep, you'll get the recorded video. Yeah, no worries there. So thank you all, and we'll see you in our next event. Thank you.